Hi, this is Teresa, and thanks for watching my journey, my career journey. Um, I wanted to take a few minutes to describe the collage that's on the opening slide. I developed this collage about 10 years ago, and I feel like it really fits my varied interests and my personality. If you look at the collage, you'll notice that there are a lot of different aspects to it. History, traveling, music, education, relationship. I think this describes me pretty well. I've got a lot of varied interests and a lot of varied areas that I've explored in my life. Um, and hopefully this this exploration and this journey will be interesting for you as it has been for me. So starting out defining who I am. Um, very much a part of my identity is being from West Virginia. I've always been very proud to be from West Virginia. My family actually donated the land that my town was plotted on three generations ago. Um, my grandfather died in the house across the street from where he was born. And I've always been very, very proud of that, that I can trace my roots back in the same small town for four or five generations. Um, it makes me feel settled and, and it gives me roots and I really like that. Something else that I always loved about being a mountaineer is that my birthday is actually on West Virginia Day. So I always thought this was cool. West Virginia, of course, as you know, had always um, had been a part of Virginia and they seceded on June 20th, 1863 to leave the Confederacy and to join the Union. So that was always a nice thing for me on my birthday because the whole state had the day off and uh, it was really cool for me to be able to celebrate such a big event in history, but also my birth family has always been very close to me and something that has defined and shaped who I am. Um, this is a picture of my mom and my dad and me. And my dad and my mom, my dad loved Harleys. He was a Marine. Um, from what I understand, he, anytime he was home, he carried me around and I was kind of a daddy's girl, but my father did pass away when I was 13 months old, um, not even a month after my first birthday. And so I don't remember him, but the stories of who he is and who he was have defined who I am. And I always like hearing how I remind people of him in my personality and my mannerisms. And so even though he wasn't a part of my life, he's, his presence has been very influential to me. Really lucky to grow up with a very involved extended family. Um, I have a lot of cousins. I'm the oldest out of all the cousins, the shortest, but the oldest. And so it was really nice to be able to have a hand in seeing them grow up. My family does have some Ukrainian background. So there's a picture of my Baba and me. And Baba is Ukrainian actually for old woman, but it's slang for grandmother. That's me and my grandfather. He stepped in and became a surrogate father to me. Um, he lived right across the street. He and Bubba lived right across the street and I saw them every day and they had a huge influence over who I became. I'm not sure what was up with our hair in that picture, but that looks like it was 1980 something. But again, my grandparents with my mom and I influenced me greatly. My grandfather passed away in 2013, and that was very hard for me. Um, losing such an influential person in my life, but 
I credit him for my love of history and my knowledge of, of history and my love of all things antique. So a big part of him lives on through my interest. Another thing that defines me really is my love of animals. I am actually really wanted to be a vet for a while. Um, for as long as I can remember, I have had a fascination with anything living, any type of animal. And I really wanted to be a vet, um, but I've got very severe allergies and asthma. And I figured that probably wouldn't be the best choice for me but it's still something that plays a really strong role in my life. Um, I've rescued, in the past 10 years, I've rescued 15 cats, homeless cats, and found homes for them. And I've rescued a dog and found a home for him. Um, and so I still have this passion for animals, although it's not something I could do as a career. My love really is a career time in drama and music. And so, I actually went on to get a Bachelor of Music from Oral Roberts University. I've been heavily involved in drama and music um, since I was little. I started playing the flute in third grade. I was in musicals all the time. I was in drama all the time. I was um, classically trained as a vocalist um, since I had been in high school. And so uh, I went ahead and got a degree in music and it was in sacred music and my hope was to lead worship in a church. After I graduated though, um, I had been very involved in music technology at ORU and the director of music technology got transferred to the multimedia department at ORU and he called and said, hey, I've got a job for you. I want you to teach graphic design. I had no idea what he was talking about. I'd never done graphic design. I'd never worked with Adobe Suite. But he said, you will be perfect, you're smart, you'll learn. So crazy me took the job. So I started doing um, multimedia production and there is the multimedia production team. This was for an advertisement that we were doing for a web page. So we did everything from photography to web design to graphic design and I started teaching um, a, the Adobe Suite for ORU. And I loved it. I was highly involved with all the students. We would take the students um, on trips. We went to CNN. We went to the National Broadcasters Convention. We would go to all of these big post-production houses to teach the students about multimedia and post-production. And it was during this time that I decided to get my master's or to start working on it. And so I took a couple classes at ORU in counseling just to see if I was interested in it. Um, I got a discount because I was working at ORU and I thought, why not use that? Theory and actually got hooked. Um, fell in love with systemic thinking and with systems theory. And so I decided to go ahead and pursue this master's in counseling. It was never anything that I had ever dreamt of doing. It was never something that, that I thought would be a great fit for me, but I fell in love with the material and I fell in love with what I was learning and how I was changing and how my family was making sense. So I started pursuing it. I graduated and I got licensed. I kind of fell into teaching. That again was not something that I planned, but an adjunct position opened up at Roger State and a friend of mine said, hey, you would be perfect for this. You need to apply. And I thought he was kind of crazy, but I applied thinking they would never hire me, but they did. So I ended up teaching um, adjunct psychology at Roger State for five years. And then I got hired by ORU to teach in the psychology department and in some of the master's classes. And I absolutely love it. I love my students. I love teaching. I love how it keeps me passionate about counseling. And I think it keeps me from feeling burnt out as a therapist. Um, I've got very blessed and mess met my husband um, in 2012 and we were married in 2014. And he's been the big encouragement for me my PhD because of my love of teaching. 
I'd really like to teach full time and just see where the future takes me. Hopefully that in includes some reintegration with my artistic side and music and graphic design. I'm not sure what that looks like yet. Um, it's kind of just been a really exciting journey. I never dreamt this is where I would end up. I never dreamt I would be teaching or getting a PhD in counseling. Um, it seems like I've just fallen into these areas that have fit so well. And so my, my future is completely undefined. The road ahead is unexplored and I'm okay with that because I like not being put in a box and having so many different options to choose from and I'm hoping that the next 40 years are just as unpredictable and exciting and diversified as the last 40 years have been. So thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. Um, have a blessed day.